congruent shapes are shapes that are exactly the same. They have the same shape and the same size. These two squares are congruent. They have the same size and shape. If we translate the square on the right, it maps onto the other exactly. Translating the square doesn't alter its size or shape. These two pentagons are congruent. If we rotate and translate the one on the right, it maps onto the other. Rotation doesn't affect its size or shape. These two L shapes are also congruent. The one on the right is a mirror image of the other, so we must reflect it and translate it to map it onto the first shape. Reflection doesn't affect its size or shape. These two squares are not congruent. We say they are incongruent. They are both squares, but they have different sizes. To map one square onto the other, we would have to change its size. These two rectangles are incongruent. They both have the same width, but one is taller than the other. To map one onto the other, we would have to distort the shape. This case might not be so easy to see at first glance, because the shapes are complex and quite similar. If we rotate the shapes and reflect the one on the right, it is easier to compare them. It is now more obvious that they are incongruent. As we have seen, two shapes are congruent if we can map one shape onto the other by some combination of reflection, rotation and translation. This is because those three transformations don't alter the shape or size. There is an alternative test. Two shapes are congruent if all the corresponding sides and angles of the two shapes are equal. These two rules are equivalent. You can use whichever is easier for the shapes you are comparing. Let's see how the second rule applies in practice. Here are two L shapes. The lines are marked with sizes. Each shape has two sides of length A, two sides of length B, and single sides of length C and D. We need to check that all the corresponding sides are identical. Both shapes have a base of length A. Working around counterclockwise, the next side is D, then B, then C, then B, then A. We need to also check that all the corresponding angles are the same. In fact, all the angles are 90 degrees except the reflex angle shown. So that is also true. This proves that the shapes are congruent. In this case, one of the L shapes is reflected. In order to check that the shapes are congruent, we need to work around the shapes in opposite directions. Again we see that both have a base of length A. The next side is D, then B, then C, then B, then A. We do the same thing to check the angles. This final example shows that it is important to check the sides and angles in the correct order. Each shape has two sides of length A, four of length B, and two of length C. They also have the same angles. However, the sides and angles are not in the same order in each case, so the shapes are incongruent. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can find more resources at graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.